Hey folks, my name is Tony Stewart and I'm Skylar Abbott's Head of Digital. My colleagues and I noticed some buzz recently around Microsoft's Kaizala platform. In this video, I'm going to be explaining a little bit about what Kaizala is, why your business might already have it, and also why I think it could have a huge impact on the world of internal communications. Kaizala is a messaging app that was introduced by Microsoft back in 2017, primarily as a way to connect your frontline workers. It supports one-to-one -one conversations, group conversations, uh, it supports document sharing, image sharing, audio notes, audio calls, video calls, it's very much like WhatsApp. What sets Kaizala apart, however, is its ability to also create polls and surveys and your own custom actions. It also has a, a news function service in there as well, all within the one app. Kaizala has always been free, but what's created such a buzz recently is that Microsoft has wrapped it up in their Office 365 offering. That is, if you have Office 365, then you already have Kaizala. So, congratulations on your brand new internal communications channel. What are you going to use it for? A great example of where Kaizala has had a very positive impact on communications and collaboration is with Philippine Airlines. Microsoft have created a really lovely video summarizing their story, which I've linked uh, below it should really inspire those icy brains of yours. I wouldn't be the first person to describe Kaizala as WhatsApp for work. Kaizala allows you to send text messages, audio notes, share documents, share images and video, um, and also create live audio and video calls too. And while the way that you do these things in Kaizala is a little different to WhatsApp, the core functionality is all there to be used. So if you have parts of your business using WhatsApp to do these things already, then it's reasonable to suggest that Kaizala would come in and do these things instead. In fact, I've already spoken about the risk of using WhatsApp for work in a previous video. And so it's reasonable to think that Kaizala as part of your wider Office 365 suite would support these functions um, and also keep your IT, data security and legal teams happy too. Kaizala also allows you to do some pretty cool stuff within its chat features as well. Custom actions means that you can introduce job boards, checklists, expense tools, even games of chess right there within the app, um, which can be incredibly powerful uh, if your employees don't already have those kind of features on, on the devices that they use. It's pretty powerful stuff, and your employees also get to choose the custom actions that they bring into their chats as well. So the whole thing feels very customized and very personable to their experience. Kaizala also has a very basic news feature as well. Essentially, it's a group, uh, a group chat that only an admin can post content into. So it's very one way, very broadcast news that your employees can read and like and create conversations around those pieces of news. It's basic, but it is a way to reach your people on the move. And of course, it's all wrapped up in the Office 365 package. Kaizala really does seem to have a very open architecture, and I suspect we're going to see a lot more custom actions and functionality brought into the platform in the upcoming weeks and months. Um, what I do know is that Microsoft has some quite grand plans for Kaizala and folding it within to its uh, Teams service, but we'll get onto that later. This all sounds great, right? Well, it is. Kaizala offers some really fantastic functionality. And for many organizations, this will be the first time they've got to play and explore an IT-backed messaging service for their business. And it comes with a heap of cool features and functionalities. I've played with Kaizala with my Skylar Abbott teamies, and typically with enterprise platforms like this, the user experience is not exactly 100%. Sometimes it's a little bit unclear as to how you do things. Uh, the functionality is there, but the user journey can seem a little confusing at times. My fear is that some employees will experiment and explore uh, Kaizala, and that awkward learning curve might throw them off and have them running back to the WhatsApp conversations that they've already got set up. I'd absolutely encourage you to load Kaizala up from your own Office 365 instances, have a play with the platform on the mobile, on your desktop, and get a real feel for the functionality and how the, the platform behaves before you start to talk to your employees about using it too. The platform has been around for a few years now, but its impact on internal communications hasn't really been realized. I feel like now's the turning point. Now that uh, Kaizala is available in the Office 365 suite, and it's available to all those people that use Office 365, there'll be a little bit more experimentation and an opportunity to see how Kaizala can support uh, communications and collaborations in different businesses around the world. And if you'd like some help exploring the power of Kaizala in your organization, then do get in touch with us here at Skylar Abbott. Contact details are below, um, and you can also find me on Twitter and LinkedIn. Thanks, guys. I'll see you again real soon.